guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, I hope you're all well. So this video is brought to you in association with Synergy Amps. If you haven't heard of Synergy Amps, they're a company based in Los Angeles and the general gist of the company is to kind of bring together a small community of amp builders such as Soldano, Friedman, Morgan, Diesel, Bogner, uh, and they've actually got some of their own um, sort of amp designs as well that were designed uh, in cooperation with Dave Friedman. So basically that's a load of amazing amp designers that have all come together uh, to work with Synergy Amps and create what is essentially an all tube modular amplifier. And what I mean by modular is that you get these Synergy preamp modules. As you can see here, it's in a box currently, which I'm gonna unbox it and put it into the, uh, the amp head here, which we'll talk about in a moment. And essentially, you can change out different preamp modules to get a different flavor, a different sort of amp setup, as it were, um, based in this uh, 6L6 and 12AX7 uh, 50 watt all tube head that also has a couple of awesome little features as well as MIDI functionality and a few other things we'll talk about in a second. But this video, because obviously some of you already know Synergy Amps, I mean guys like Steve Vai have their own uh, sort of Synergy uh, module and stuff like that. But uh, in this video we're going to be looking at two new modules and this is the Bogner Ecstasy and the Bogner Uberschall which are obviously you know those amplifiers they're absolutely fantastic amplifiers. I love the Bogner Ecstasy. Uh, Nolly has one so when I was down there we were getting our clean tones with that and it's a stunning amplifier and the Uberschall is I've only tried the preamp pedal that was made uh, and that was stunning so I'm really looking forward to trying this. I've not actually tried a proper Uberschall but I imagine this will get us close. So the idea is going to be that we'll unbox these, uh, plug them into the head uh, and then we'll see what it sounds like. So the amplifier I've got here is the Synergy SYN50 which is the 50 watt 6L6 powered head. It's got two 6L6 and three 12AX7s. And yeah, I imagine that when you plug these uh, modules in, it's kind of like a mix of the two, a synergy of the two as it were, that give you the kind of tone that you're after. And a sort, of course, if you're powering a cab with this, having 50 watts, 6 or 6 power, it's going to be really loud. So that's really cool. In terms of other features on the front panel, obviously you've got these two slots for two modules. Um, you've got your input and then you've got over here, you've got density and presence. Density is like resonance, like a girth control. And then you've got your master volume and then you stand by and you power. So on the back panel you've got your mains in, you've got a MIDI in and a MIDI through with your little MIDI junction box which helps you program it. Then you've got your speaker out and extension and then so you can run two cabs, then your impedance selector 4, 8 and 16. Then you've got a balanced output XLR which is really cool. Basically you can run a bi uh, cab sim or you can bypass that, it's got ground lift and you've also got a 20 dB pad which is really useful. Then you've got an effects loop, send and return, and you've got basically a level switch, which is really nice. I like having control over the level of your effects loop, normally on, a, on like a volume control, or if you're using two of the same amp and it's preset, it's cool, but having sort of a, a high output effects loop and a low one is really handy. But that's basically the SYN50 head. It becomes its own beast when you plug the modules in. So next, we're gonna unbox these modules, and I guess we'll go in order of gain. So we'll start with, the ecstasy, plug them in one by one. So I've got a close up camera here, as you can see, opening the box. <laughs> Bit of an unboxing video. Everything you need to know in the pamphlets, put it on the floor. And then, as you can see, this tiny little, I don't know if it's gonna focus. Yeah, there you go. It's like a little, it's like a little rack in itself. And this is basically your sort of preamp more or less that's basically how it works you got these two little screws on either side you slot it in it'll clip in then you screw it nice and tight so I've just got the pamphlet because it's a bit easier to uh, explain basically how it works but as I said two channels you got like a, I guess like a clean and then a gainy channel bass middle and treble and then you've got the pre EQ which will change the overall response feel of the of the of the ecstasy amp module and then schizo which I guess is a type of uh, gain structure so Again, I don't have much experience with the ecstasy. I've just used it for like a clean push clean thing. So this is all new to me. But I imagine that you can basically get many different feels out of it from like blues to hard rock to metal and that kind of thing. So anyway, as I said, you get this tiny little module here that you screw in. So we're gonna screw it in and then we'll do the same to the Ubershall and then test this thing out. There you go. And then I guess you push from both sides. 
Yep. And then screw it in. So now we'll put the Uber shell in. And the Uber shell I know is a little bit more intense, a bit more high gain. So I'm going to just get the pamphlet out real quick. And yeah, it's definitely aimed more at high gain. You've, you've got the same idea here. So you've got gain, bass, middle, treble and volume, two channels of it. And then you've got a pre-EQ and a boost. Uh, and then a pre-EQ and a cut between the two channels, so that's cool. And I imagine it's just, you know, high gain fun. So, let's check it out. So as you can see with the two modules in now, it looks way more intense, way more badass. Um, I guess now it's got way more controls on it, kind of like, I remember when I first got my JVM and that was like, that's a lot of controls, oh my god, I'm gonna have to learn this. But I suppose, as I said before, two modules, two channels on each with a bunch of toggle switches to change the voicings and stuff. Anyway, let's fire it up and get into some tones. It comes with a MIDI foot switch as well, as you can see here, which uh, is also powered off a 9 volt, um, between 50 and 100 milliamps power supply. Uh, but it runs a MIDI cable and it sort of predetermines the MIDI commands with the amp when you plug this in between 1, 2, 3 and 4. So you can switch between sort of the first channel or the, ex the first amp module and the second amp module going between channels one, two, three, and four. So that's what I'm going to use on the ground. Uh, and yeah, it's running into the Universal Audio Oxbox. We're going to be using the V30 cab and I've got some reverb and delay to give us some vibe. So let's get into it. Okay, so the guitar I'm going to use is the brand new Music Man Sabre. I'm making the most of it because I just demoed it and it's in my possession for a short while. So I'm going to use this guitar. So I've kind of set everything to 12 o'clock. Uh, on both channels here and I've just added a tiny bit of presence I might knock that back actually but we're gonna start with everything around 12 o'clock in terms of the EQ and just check out how these amps sound so we're starting with the ecstasy so let's start on the neck pickup here we go way that sounds it's like a pushed clean very much my my cup of tea that yeah sounds great so where to start let's just check out the range of gain so we'll start with the low and I'll turn it up That sounds really good. So let's quickly check the EQ. So powerful EQ, it's nice. It's nice and uh, musical actually. It doesn't just sound, you know, like when you boost the treble, it's not just harsh, you know. So that's cool. And obviously channel volume, I'm gonna leave where it is because I've set it. Uh, so let's mess with the toggle switches. So let's start with the toggle switch on the left. This is the pre-EQ, so this is in the middle position right now. So I'm going to flick it down. Okay, it's just giving us more gain. So I think it's a boost, maybe, a pre-EQ boost. So in the middle, position one. That's the up position, then the down is. Yeah, 
Cool. So. It's got tons of gain um, already, so now let's try the um, schizo control. It's in the middle right now, so I'm going to move it into the M position. a really cool sound. So that's in the M position, back to V. Which is like low gain, and then C. It's like gainier but lower, and it's lost mids. Ooh, boost the volume a bit. Like it. Okay, let's move on to the second channel. does sound good. So on the red channel, I've boosted the gain on full, uh, the EQ boosted the mid and the treble, and this is what we've got. So, let's back down the gain. We'll start with the pre-EQ, so we'll put it in B1. Just gonna back off the treble in the mid. Wicked. And then B2. Sounding great. Let's boost the treble a little bit. I'm going to back off the bass, boost the mids. Okay, so I like B2. Let's mess with the uh, schizo control. So it's currently in V. Let's try M. So we're getting into the high gain territory now. smooth really liquidy kind of gain I'm loving that so that was the M position uh, back down to the C uh, C position
that's the ecstasy module in itself between the two amps it's you've got a low gain you don't really have a clean as such but you've got a really nice low gain with a bunch of different voicings and then you've got this just awesome you've got such a nice wide amount of gain and to be perfectly honest the feel the response like it's a really liquid feeling gain it's it's warmer it's it's not as bright as the kind of amp tone gain tone that i'm used to but in it in a great way and the feel i don't know if it's because it's all tube as well that's mixing you know all that stuff but it just feels awesome so i'm really 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 impressed um so that would be the ecstasy a quick look at the two channels and those were the different kind of voicings and the range of gain so let's move on to the ubershal so now we're on to the ubershal we're on to the first channel and obviously this is like a high gain monster amp as far as i'm aware but i'm trying to get a sort of a low gain thing so i've backed off the bass and the mid boosted the treble uh the pre-eq is in the end position and the boost isn't engaged and this is what we've got on the bridge <laughs> It's, it sounds like kind of muffled and MIDI, so that's because it's meant to have gain, I guess. Yeah, it wakes up as soon as you boost the gain, so. It's cool. There's tons of gain, so let's mess with the pre-EQ. So let's put it in uh, top position. Lost a bit of bass, so we'll put that back. So the EQ is pretty much at 12 o'clock now. Way less uh, low end, more mid present, it's more kind of barky, so this is definitely more of a high gain riffing amp. <laughs> So if we boost again a bit more. So back off some of the mid. Right, so what happens when we push the boost? Is sick with the boost in it just comes alive let's try the other um, pre q so in the down position it's way more scooped It, this thing is sick. I'm not even kidding. This is the blue channel, and I'm absolutely in love with this, where this thing sounds. <laughs> I'm 
just playing ridiculous stuff, just going mental on it because it just feels so good. So, um, yeah, I'm well into that. And apologies for just going completely nonsense, mindless noodling. Uh, I'm sure John's probably cut a lot of it out because, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing a lot. Uh, okay, so, yeah, that's basically what Blue Channel's doing. So let's move across to the Red Channel. <laughs> Sounds really good. I really like that. Listen. insane sound it's so good it's so good so with the uh, boost in you get that like barky presence about it but then with the pre-eq in the down position now you get a little bit more clarity less bass still tons of amazing gain though So considering the fact that I've barely touched the EQ, I mean I've boosted a bit the high end, but just using these pre-EQ controls and uh, the boost, we're getting loads out of it. And the best bit is that the gain is at 10 o'clock. It's uh, ridiculous. So if I, let me just take the boost out. So much gain and I'm just being an idiot now, I'm just playing nonsense. This normally happens when I really get into a piece of gear and this is definitely been that situation. So before this video ends up being ridiculously long, I'm going to end it there with the amount of playing that I'm doing. Pop this absolutely amazing guitar, because it is really good, back over here. And give you my verdict of the Synergy amps, uh, the Bogner Ecstasy and Ubersham modules and the SYN or Syn 50 head. I am so impressed. I didn't know anything about this techno. I knew about Synergy, but I didn't. Re I have never tried it. I knew it was on the market, and I've heard people talk about it, but I've not he even really heard what people think as such. I just, I've just not really heard much about it. 
genuinely, it is so sick. If you want to get into this kind of uh, modular amp situation, you want to do this kind of stuff, considering all the features that you've got with the line outs, cab sims, and you know all the rest of it, the tube power, all that stuff, and then hearing these two modules, I can only imagine that the Morgan, the Friedman diesel ones are all sick as well. But this, the Bogner Uberschall and Ecstasy modules, all together with this, insane, insane tones. I mean, the one thing I would say is there's no clean, you know, I didn't really get a clean tone as such, but in terms of like a low gain crunch through to like ridiculous high gain, these two, amazing, really, really cool. And the fact it's all MIDI programmable, so you could really make use of this in a live application, but I kind of want this to stay here. It's not gonna stay here, it has to, I have to give it back, but I'm so, so impressed and it feels great to play. I really, really enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it wasn't just nonsense shred all the way through. Um, one thing I, I am gonna say as well is that I think the design of it is sick. You know, it kind of reminds me of the Friedman stuff. So I imagine that the Friedman guys, well, it's a community sort of built thing, but yeah, I'm, I really like it. It's a, it's a good head. It's a good, good vibe. I'm really impressed. I don't know if you can tell. So I'm gonna end it there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks to Synergy Amps for sending this over for me to review. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll put all the links in the description box. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all very soon.